if you watched yesterday's video, this stream needs no explanation, but for those who haven't caught it, we are on a run that is unmatched in any grind that I've ever done in Call of the Wild. 900 red stags, no diamonds. One troll level 9 in that run, and that's been the only the only real highlight. I think two little piebalds, but as far as I can tell, rares don't really mean anything as far as like how your spawns are looking because like you know any level two or any level eight or anything in between can end up being a rare so here's my theory i think we're missing something i don't know where it is but i get the feeling that there's a diamond or something on this map that we're just simply not finding so earlier today i ran the entire river starting over here and got to this point and then it was almost time for the stream so I stopped and I think there was a red deer zone there and there both kind of average size tags nothing that I thought was actually worth shooting and I will say this is likely to be one of the lowest total kill count streams that we'll do but I'm hoping I mean heck early early on we could figure out the issue and just kind of be back to normal but yeah I'm hoping to to really hit literally every nook and cranny of this map i'm talking like this lake down here this area that we never go to um potentially even up in here like we're really going to cover all of our bases here because if we can do that and determine that there is nothing special the only thing i can figure is <laughs> we have the worst random luck in history as uh, that thank you for the super chat we'll drop 500 dollars if you drop I don't think I can drop atomic bombs on the map, but you know, I can do my best. Which is the best map for a great one grind? That is kind of down to a matter of opinion, let's say. Um, so for instance, a lot of people have done Te Aoroa, and I would say that that map offers the highest potential number of stags say like per hour played or per run the issue with tay for me is that red deer drink time is primarily after dark uh, it starts at 1800 so you get about 15 minutes and really only maybe 10 of those are even decent light i don't care to hunt in the dark i feel like i miss things i feel like i'm limited on how well i can see so i chose quattro Kalinas. i would say parquet may be better in terms of like number of red deer but puma drink at the same time as red deer and often in the same place. So you get a bunch of pumas that are chasing red deer around and that can be a bit of a mess. So Quattro is my choice. Um, heck, I've seen people kill them on Hirschfeld and I still don't have one. So it, it just depends. What's up, Mills? I didn't get a Discord ping? Yeah, I actually posted it for once. I remembered. What's up, Panda? You haven't missed anything yet. Just a simple explanation of what we are doing, which is going to involve a bunch of running and quite possibly not that much shooting. We'll probably try to kill red deer when we see them, but I don't expect to see a ton. I just think something's up. There's gotta be something. I can't fathom 900 red deer stags with no diamonds. That makes no sense to me. I mean, people on Tay get like two every hundred. I was averaging maybe one every 150 to one every 200 to all of a sudden have a streak of 900. I. I can't accept that that's just awful luck. Not at least without, you know, running around the map and kind of trying to confirm by checking the areas that we never go to that there are, in fact, no, uh, no diamonds there. Or ideally, you know, we could just find a diamond or a great one and be on our way. Hey, thank you, Drew. How come you never play on Xbox? I mean, there's a number of reasons for that. I think the, uh... The biggest one it's kind of the same reason why in the hunter classic i've often been asked to do a beginner series and if i'm gonna do one i'm gonna do it with my main account basically you know when you put like 5,000 hours into a save file which i've done for both classic and call of the wild at this point it almost feels like i don't know like you're undermining all those hours by going and playing like on another save like to go and play call the wild on xbox like i guess it would be cool if i shot a diamond or, or a great one or whatever but then i can't put it in this lodge that i've spent thousands of hours creating you know do you actually hunt in real life i do 
wishing you the best of luck. I will need it, Riley. I appreciate you. Whitetail grind after Red Deer. Yeah, I don't know if I'll, um... If I'll immediately dive back into Great One grinding again. I know a lot of people do that because it's kind of like a... Um... A habit type of thing. I know I did that after I shot my Great One Whitetail. I was back on late in, like, the next day. And <laughs> I shot a couple of Whitetail and I was like, wait. What am I doing? I already got one, but... It's just kind of a, a force of habit, so we'll see uh, what happens there. But I know the Black Bear grind kind of ended by accident. I It blows my mind that I didn't know it was a Black Fur type um, Black Bear in our lodge. It may have been because I thought we needed Dusky, actually. But yeah, there's there's a couple of grinds. Albino Sika, I just saw Mel got one of those recently, so perhaps I can uh, follow in such footsteps. Among other things, like when I get into the lodge, I'll be able to see. I want some kudu. Black Buck are still on the list. I'm considering switching that up for gators. I'll explain that eventually um, in a video when we do that, if we do. I've been thinking the last couple days about a new map, and I think I've got it figured set in the south, set in Southeast Africa. Sable, Leopards, Eland, Impala, Guinea Fowl, Crocs, and Greater Kudu. I think that'd be a pretty good list. Maybe... Yeah, you've actually got like four. I was gonna say maybe more species with horns. Could you get like black wildebeest in there? Or even hyena? I don't know if that makes sense. Getting that Sika last night made me feel... <laughs> made me have all the heart failure right from under the nose of a hacker. I, uh... I've been seeing like a couple of the creators that are streaming consistently have people like stream sniping kills, which is really not the reason that I don't play multiplayer, but I guess it is one of the reasons that I don't do multiplayer on stream. Um, but I've never had anybody, like, try to kill or steal one of my kills that, that I can remember ever in Call of the Wild. I remember in Classic one time. I don't think the guy was trying to steal my kills, but he was just following me along. And, like, a, it was just does, but one would call, I'd stop, smoke it with the with the bow, and he'd just run in front of me and pick it up. It was like having a little retriever for dogs. In your opinion... Uh, what is the best map to grind Whitetail on? It's Rancho. I mean, as much as I'd like to say Leighton or Mississippi because they fit better there, there's so many deer on Rancho per zone. I I can't I can't uh, say any of the other maps are better. Can you enlighten someone on how to make how you make thumbnails? Oddly enough, I use Microsoft Word for a good chunk of it. I just like their text and image edit options. I do need to learn how to replicate those things in Photoshop because it'll allow me to do a couple of other things better. But until I get the time to really learn and, and nail that down, yeah, I, I basically use Microsoft Word, cut the stuff out. I do use Photoshop for a couple of things that Word doesn't allow, but essentially I make the basis for the thumbnail in Word and then I'll uh, screenshot it, take it over to Photoshop and clean stuff up. Small Peen, what a name. Thank you for the super chat. Any new updates on when geese will be fixed? There's no, uh, date. Was that in the preliminary patch notes, though? I don't know if it was. Yeah. That's in the, the patch notes they just released? All right. Well, in that case, perhaps soon. I think uh, February was the, uh, the thing I saw. I don't know that there was a date in February, but that's good news. Interesting that there's not any red deer there. I have a zone there, and I would bet that I didn't shoot whatever red deer was there, but that is what it is. By the way, this river run might be the worst part of this entire stream. The rest will be a little less monotonous, I would say. But he's going to get a great one this stream. Dude, I hope. I, I'm of the opinion that something's up. It may be like a diamond that's just, you know making the game decide, like, I'm not going to get any more level 9 red deer until I shoot it. I just can't imagine that's it. Like, I seem to recall a video not that long ago with red deer. Um, I think I killed a diamond somewhere, and then another one showed up, like, here, where I just wasn't seeing it. I think it was in this zone, specifically. So it seemed to me that there were two diamonds on one map. The odds that there's two diamonds that are spawned on this map in areas that I'm not looking... Maybe, maybe that's happening, but I like to at least build my own optimism by thinking 
there's got to be a great one hiding out here somewhere. It's just somewhere that I'm not looking. That's that's what I'm trying to place my bets on, I can guess, so I can continue going with this. Because 900 straight without a diamond is really demoralizing. Do we already know what the next map is? Nah. We probably won't know. I'm going to say May. We'll start to kind of get some hints. Usually that's the way it works. What about them Bengals? Dude, I don't know what to think of this Super Bowl. It's going to be interesting. You've got Burrow, who apparently just can't lose these days. And then Stafford has, like, the story of all stories in the NFL. I don't even know who to root for. I really want Stafford to get a ring, but Burrow's been amazing to watch. Uh, Jay, thank you for the 35 months, by the way. I can't believe those alerts just, for some reason, aren't considered, like, a membership thing, so it never shows up on a Red Deer track. Nope. Almost three years there, dude. I appreciate you. Welcome back. I'm at roughly 600 stags since the last diamond. It just makes me question if it is RNG. Like, completely RNG. Maybe there's there's something, like, if you get a diamond or two diamonds on your map that are somewhere where you're not looking, you're just not going to get any more. Like, 900 stags doesn't even compute for me to not spawn a diamond. It could be just really bad luck. It just seems unlikely, I guess. Do you have a favorite map? Probably Leighton Lakes. I really I really enjoy hunting antlered species, and Leighton's got the most of them. Uh, let's see. Got uh, eh, less than a kilometer run to go, and then we can be on to potentially more interesting areas. What map are we on? We're on Quattro Cleanness right now. I should also clarify that I've done this river run a number of times. Um, it's just a spot where Red Deer might be, so we're giving it a look today. Favorite team is the Rams, and I'm on my mom's account. My name is Hunter, and we want the Rams to win. I think because the Bengals are an AFC North rival, I have to root for the Rams. And again, I really want Stafford to get a ring. I think, you know, we had the Lions kind of ruining Barry Sanders and Calvin Johnson's careers and uh, Stafford was kind of next in line there and if he can get a ring with the Rams I mean his win-loss percentage right now is actually below 500 but again it was mostly Lions if he can get two more like good winning seasons out of being a Ram I think he'll be right around 500 and it may be Hall of Fame whether he's been to the Pro Bowl right a couple of times Bagels versus yams. Goodness. Gotta stay within the division? As far as what, rooting for? Because I feel like you have to root against everybody in the division. What is the music? It's from Epidemic Sound. Uh, it's just like a bunch of slow guitar. Um, the thing about the music is, when I downloaded the songs, they were literally called like Happy Folk Guitar like numbered 1 through 18. Epidemic Sound had a big update and like all the songs actually have titles now, but in, obviously in my computer they're still named what they were when I downloaded them, so I don't even know what they are anymore. If you're talking about, if you're talking trash about the Lions, just remember who you guys tied. What, with our backup quarterback? I don't know why that's relevant, but alright. How can I get more whitetail zones? I would actually recommend kind of doing what I'm doing right now. So essentially running around literally every possible body of water and seeing if you can spot whitetail in the zones. Five phone calls since the stream started. Holy, there's a thick mythical over there. That's interesting. So normally um, if I check that area, I will spot, where are we? Oh, no, we're not as far down as I thought. We could go all the way down here yet. I usually spawn here and go and look down in that area. We might smoke that one. That might be worth shooting. That's a pretty big stag. Yeah, why not? Only 15 minutes in the stream, I feel like we should kill something. I think that'll bring him down. So the only issue is it's gonna be quite a run to go and get him. Uh, in all likelihood, he will actually disappear, but that's fine. Got that marked. So, right by the bridge. 
uh, Trace, thank you for the super chat. It's been 300 kills without a diamond or rare on Tay. I feel like on Tay especially, that's pretty bad luck. I'm with you though. 900 stags has been a long run. When? I mean, the last diamond would have been close to like two and a half weeks ago. There was the 24 hour stream itself, so it like slowed my progress on the grind quite a bit. Is that the troll level 9? It's the troll 9 rack, yeah, but it was an 8. Got my first piebald red deer two days ago. Nice. They're one of the best looking piebalds in the game. I maintain that. I think roe deer and musk deer might actually win that out, but red deer are good looking ones. What's up, Minty? What is the next great one you want to see? I think mule deer would top my list, uh, although I do think we probably need a great one that doesn't have antlers, so whether it's horns or, you know, if you did like a predator species, say a, a lion or a bear, you could have like scars and unique furs and, you know, something that's not just down to antlers. But I think if they were to do that, it has to be more than, look, this one says it's heavier. Like it should physically be bigger than every other bear or lion or whatever they choose. It's like sometimes we don't exist. Poof. Invisible. Try 90 legendary red deer in a row without the great one. I think LC was on a streak about like that. Tell you what, at the rate I'm going, I 16 diamonds, maybe not even. I'll never kill a great one if it takes me that many. Don't know what I would do. I may switch to Tay after like 50. But 50 would be, again, many thousands of kills down the road at this rate. If Flincher doesn't say it, we don't. I'm just going to start reading your messages. It'd be funny if I could set up like a text-to-speech thing that would just read your messages. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, hey, you gotta read this. This one's important or whatever. I'm tired of it, never. Yeah. All right, this is about as far as we can get on this side. Um, pretty soon, we're just not gonna be able to see the opposite shore. So we're gonna fast travel over to here. We're gonna really carefully kind of comb through this area and make sure we're good. Still make us prize the lack of good things you have got on this grind. Telling you Tay is just better. I don't know, dude. Like, you look at Kyla's, uh, Kyla's skill. She had a mythical, or mythical, a Melanistic level 7. Uh, Albino level 8. How big was your biggest pie ball? Level 7? Yeah. Obviously the great one. 25-ish diamonds. I, to me, it's nothing to do with the map as far as, like, the quality of the animals. Now, I do think you're going to get more red deer on Tay, and that naturally will lead to some better stuff. I... I mean, you and I just talked about it the other day. I just think some people have better luck with certain species, and I think my red deer luck sucks. It kind of always has. Yeah, most of my level 9 species, grinding for anything level 9 has rarely worked out well for me. Um, Adolfo, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Love you and what you do. I just wanted to ask how you feel about the modern weapon pack leak from Jaxi's stream. To be honest, I... I saw like a screenshot of it. I don't even know exactly what um what went down. I think I read that like he was streaming. Was it even the W stream? Was it his personal stream? And like he had a tab open or something that said something like modern weapons. I to me that doesn't necessarily mean anything. But what it's January now. Usually, if they release another DLC, I guess the timing would be about right, but yeah, I'm not reading into that too much. It's, hello there. It's kind of the type of thing where it might not even be remotely related. I'd have to go back and watch the VOD, assuming that it exists, and see what actually happened, but for all I know, he's trying to purchase a gun. He's in Canada. Go and moose hunting. Uh, Aiden, thank you for the super chat. How do I see how many red deer kills I have? You just have to keep count. Um, there's no, no way of seeing those statistics. Now, I remember 
I think a survey where they asked like what kind of quality of life improvements we would like to see and one of the options was individual counting stats so things like how many kills do I have with the M1 how many red deer kills do I have uh, I would really like to see that implemented it would just be so nice to know you know hey I'm I'm 5,000 kills into this crowd I'm actually paying attention to it whereas you know I can count and I can count usually pretty accurately but it's not like I'm sitting here I know some people do this um, like checking off a list or whatever or uh, using like a, a counting app I don't do that I'm just like yeah I shot about 25 I, I have a rough count I pay attention to my ammo I could be off by like several hundred by the time I'm done over the course of many thousands of kills but that's also a small rounding error when you get enough kills so yeah there's no way of really knowing unless you just keep super accurate count um and thanks for subscribing where was the uh why can't i get that to work minty thanks for the two months what does this say how do you make an octopus laugh give it tentacles i give that i was gonna say 12 out of 12 it should be 8 out of 12 because octopus anyway i just look at the codex kills before and after a night of grinding i always end up shooting other stuff like how I'll, I'll shoot like a random road ear and wolves attack me so like i can't even rely on that maybe it was a diversion for something bigger or maybe modern guns for bigger animals eh, it could be um like i said i'd there may end up being something that comes out that confirms it, but it's not the. Wouldn't be the first time that some random thing comes up and everybody jumps on it and is completely wrong. I mean, heck, the uh, uh, the clue for Silver. No, not Silver Ridge Peaks. Yeah, um, half the people were were convinced it was Australia. It was um, boxing gloves, and they were. I mean basically exact replicas of the ones that uh, Rocky Balboa had in, in the movie in the Rocky movies so there was half the community that said yes this means Rockies half the community is like this is kangaroos boxing so what some people see as an obvious clue some people completely read differently so like I said I'm not even really worried about that fog and night hunting gross What's Kyla's biggest diamond? What is your biggest diamond? Probably your thousand... Yeah, but some of these don't know what that means, so I'm trying to think what my biggest one would be. Uh, I'm not just my 86th Rodeer, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, if you go back on the old system, probably like your one of your thousands, but I don't know on the new system. Do you have any tips for Call the Wild? I mean, generally speaking, hunt around water and try to shoot all your males. I hate that Tay doesn't have predators like foxes, but it would go against the story. New Zealand doesn't really have any predators, which is why hunting is essentially open season over there. You kind of just, you can hunt year round, I do believe. Anything non-native or maybe anything. What's up, PJ? Doing good, man. Going over here to claim what was actually a pretty nice mythical stag. Got quite some distance to run yet, but it's quite alright. Well, there's rest in here. <gasps> Ow. Rabbits, I guess. Interesting. This kind of does lead us into areas where we don't use the goat. It'd be funny if, like, a level 3 rabbit or something showed. No such luck today, though. Plus, this new update is supposed to reduce the rain, so maybe it will on Tay. Rain's not the issue on Tay, though, right? It's just fog. I'm sad deer hunting is over. Yeah, it's always... I don't know, for me, by the time rifle season's over... Because I always just kind of kick it into a different gear in rifle season. Like, it's sitting out usually as many hours as I can per day cold weather like it, it wears on you but yeah come late season I'll get out a couple times and I'm kind of just like all right I, I needed this break it's over and then <laughs> give me a week and I'm like nah I wish I could be out again the 
Does anyone on PC have the Call the Wild is not working bug? Uh, go into Steam and try to validate your game files. That might be your issue. Elk disappear right before they die. I ran around a lot and, and found a harvest button and pressed it and then we got the cash. Yeah, the, um, the harvest screen should flash real quick. You can taxonomize those animals by going into your trophy lodge, uh, opening the trophy manager, and then you do the last unsaved harvest. So if you've killed anything since then, obviously it's not going to work. But the issue is, in the lodge, they will not have antlers. So I will say, like, if you shoot a diamond that way, I'd tax it and see if maybe it ends up getting fixed, because you never know. But yeah, any of those times where you, like, hit harvest and you get the cash and it's kind of gone like that harvest screen goes by real quick usually that's what happens can you do a gator hunt stream yeah i was saying earlier uh i do i'm considering doing some more gator, gator grinding i need some rares to be honest i have that one small piebald i've shot like six rares by the way um at least two in multiplayer i was kicked on one i couldn't claim the same day that i did get my piebald and I think I might have had one or two get away, too. It's been rough. If work stays the way it has been, I'm worried I'm not going to have the time to even run a trap line this year. Time for a career change? Going to become a professional bottom tuber. Bottom boy 12. Nice. Mythical didn't disappear, so that means we actually get to take a look at him. Probably my least favorite rack in this game. 241, like it's a high score, but every time you see it, you just know what you're getting into. It's gonna be a troll nine or an eight. Like if it just, some species have like the not max level, but still diamond rack. Mythicals never have that for red deer. All right, next order of business is checking this lake. I do believe no red deer live there, but what if there are some? I gotta go and give it a look. Anything good? Yeah, that mythical was the best thing. I want... I want the snow, but I do not want to shovel it. I still haven't shoveled the sidewalk since the last snow. It snows like every other day, and I'm just like, well, should I bother? What's up, Caleb? What's up? What have I missed? A couple of red deer kills thus far. We're just kind of checking the areas that we never really go to in hopes of, uh... Figuring out what the heck's going on with the, the lag of diamonds lately. Professional drone pilot? There you go. Go uh, follow big males around the woods and get epic footage. Who do you think will win or who do you want to win the Super Bowl? So this is an interesting matchup because Zach Taylor was on Sean McVay's staff. And... A lot of times when you have, like, veteran quarterback, veteran coach, like, you know, McVay has been to a Super Bowl and, and lost before. I would like to think the Rams are going to be more prepared, but, man, you can't count the Bengals out. They've been down to the Chiefs big twice and came back and won both times. I want the Rams to win because I think Burrow's going to get back, and I think the Rams trading literally every first-round pick ever is going to catch up with them, and they're not going to have that super team. Like, I think this is Stafford's quite possibly only shot at a ring so I'd really like him to get it I don't know it's gonna be a tough pick I'll watch over the next two weeks and you know see who gets hurt and stuff and I'll probably make a pick Sunday morning when we do the Red Dead stream assuming we're gonna do it I'm having everybody here for uh, for a little Super Bowl watch party kind of thing so I don't know if I'll get the stream the morning of but assuming I do I'll I'll make an official pick then would I never guess Bengals Rams? I I don't think anybody probably picked that. I mean the Bengals were four and twelve last year. Stafford going to the Rams and like all they've done, I do understand that, but the uh, the Bengals pick would have been tough. What's up, Hunter Class? Can you do a duo live stream with DD thirty three? Duo streams are tough. I think. You know, we, we did them a couple of times years ago, and at a certain point when there's, like, enough viewers and stuff, it's really difficult to 
give proper attention to the chat. Like, there's gonna be... Here's what usually happens in duo streams, if I can explain it. The first maybe 15 minutes are like, everybody thinks it's a normal stream, so everybody's saying hi. Streamer's not saying hi back as much because they're talking to the person that they're streaming with. Uh, and then you start to get like super chats and stuff because it's like, well, they're not going to ignore super chats. So I'll just donate to, to get my message read. So then the proper thing to do as a streamer is to read that. So you meet yourself in Discord or whatever, read the super chats. That's happening on both sides. It's just difficult. So my preference is to, like, if I'm going to stream with someone, either just they stream and I join them or just I stream and they join me. We may do that, but as far as like both of us streaming at the same time, as much as I like you to be able to see both perspectives, that's a really cool concept. It's just not really all that feasible with the uh, with the way that it kind of goes. At least not for like a good stream from the viewer perspective. Oh my god, a mouflon! I didn't know you lived down here, you small male. Another guy over there. All right, well this has already been a worthwhile expedition, even without any red deer in sight. Now I will say. A lot of lakes that have mouflon also have red deer, so I'm cautiously optimistic at the moment. Have you ever thought of uh, hunting elk in real life? At the moment, I've got, I think, two or three preference points. I think three uh, in Wyoming for an eventual elk hunt. The, the current plan, if everything can, can go to plan, and already a Wyoming hunt has uh, not gone to plan, so don't hold me to this, but what we want to do is hunt pronghorn in Wyoming this fall. Uh, I think the application period for that ends in like May. If we can kind of do that, especially if we can be successful and maybe get some time to look into potential areas to hunt elk, we could maybe see if we can get drawn for 2023 or 2024. Um, odds are, c considering we're going to be going in like unguided and stuff, we're probably not going to kill anything, but you never know. Maybe we will. Mods aren't used here? No mods. Only Kyla. What? You're a mod. <laughs> no. Wow. Wow. You're done. You're done. I don't use mods because I'm actually a good player who knows how to play the game and mods are trash. I think uh, the issue with using mods really comes down to like what do you do after you've used them? So, like, if you're going to use mods to, to kill diamonds or great ones or whatever, at some point, you're never going to be able to play the game legit again. Because, like, where's the fun in it? You've already killed the good stuff illegitimately. Like, I think anybody that's using mods is basically setting up for their last hurrah in the game. Like, I can't imagine it being fun after using them. What is your opinion on Africa 2.0? I've been... Uh, championing that idea for probably a couple of years. I I say this a lot. If you're on PC or PS4, unfortunately, Xbox does not have a, a multiplayer map selection screen. If you go and look through all of the different maps, the servers that are open, Verhunga is always one of the most hosted maps. And the map itself is going to be four years old uh, this fall. I think it's about time for another Africa map. Like, the fact that Verhunga does so, so well, I can only imagine that another one would do well. Slightly angry about modders right now. Eh, understood. I don't know if I checked down that side really well. Do I want to run all the way back around? Not particularly. Okay, so we have a zone there. So once I can see to that point, which I'm going to run around a little bit, we'll call that good. I was behind like 30 seconds. Welcome to the future. You're a great streamer and I hope to be as good as you someday. Well, I'll tell you what, if I can do it, anybody can, because I can't even hardly speak English half the time. Kyla knows firsthand. Out here trying to do an intro and having to do it six times because I can't speak. Classic probs. Are you moderately angry about them? This is my type of humor. I like it. 
Modders are like a plague currently, and you can thank the Call of the Wild YouTubers who've been using mods in videos. I can't say that exposing the fact that you can get mods rather easily was a good idea, but uh, considering that's out there now, what do you do? Um, I think the issue is slowly but surely you see it in the discords. Uh, Dilly Bar, thanks for becoming a YouTube member, by the way. I appreciate you. Uh, but yeah, like slowly but surely, you're gonna see the the legitimate kills get questioned more and more to the point that they just aren't posted. Like it, it's kind of almost like uh, not only is it bad for the game, like you see the people that are, you know, modding trophies, but it also punishes those that are playing legit. Cause like the amount of times that I see a great one get posted in discord and immediately everyone's like hounding them, like, you know, po post the uh, codex, post the latest harvest. I want to see this is legit. And it like literally scares people away to where they don't want to do it anymore. Cause they, as far as they know, there's nothing wrong that they've done, but it gets, there's so many illegitimate ones. It just kind of happens. Why can't you pick individual maps on Xbox? I swear they they answered this. That or I like dreamt it up. Um, I think Xbox has like a built-in um, matchmaking program. So like any developer making a multiplayer game doesn't have to make a matchmaking. Uh, why can't I think of the word? matchmaking they don't have to code it into the game i think this may be entirely inaccurate but i think it's through xbox and not through call of the wild i still think they should give you a map choosing thing love watching your vids it's the best way to relax after work happy i can finally catch a live stream glad you can make it in man this this one is a little lower kill count certainly the normal run around and trying to figure out what on earth is going on with these red deer but I just think it's time to try to figure this out. Like, 900 kills, a couple of weeks, no diamonds. It, it just seems like something's up, especially after whatever it was, 16 diamonds, you know, one every 200. I can imagine, you know, as it got to like five or 600, I'm like, man, this is bad luck. But then I spent like nine hours the other day, still no diamonds, 300 more kills. And it, it's just like, okay, I gotta, I gotta just look everywhere and, and make sure. When people ask for the codex, what are they looking for to see that it's not full, a full screen of diamonds? Yeah, um, that's definitely one of the things to make sure it's not a full screen of diamonds. I would say, I, I think that's probably the main thing. Because often the other thing that's asked for, hey, move on again. The other thing that's asked for is the, uh, the harvest screen itself. So you're looking for, you know, a shot that's five meters away or something that's just not feasible i somebody just tagged me on twitter the other day it was like look a nice whitetail it was nine nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine kg nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine score um oddly enough it was a diamond and not a great one and i was like yeah all right nice hacks bud I'm not gonna react to that sort of like steroids in weightlifting people put the countless hours of work in and get big and then some guy who Looks like a Belgian blue bull comes in and you know they didn't get that naturally. Yeah, it sucks to... It really does. I, I'll uh, speak firsthand here. Like, before Rancho, I had one of the first great ones and one of the only great ones for quite some time. And, you know, it, it was a long grind. It was 45 days. And the thing about it was, like, nobody understood it yet. So it wasn't like I could go and go on YouTube and be like, ah, oh, this guy got his great one by, you know, setting up tents and tripods and shooting all his bucks. Like, I just did that. I just assumed that that would maybe work, and it did. So, you know, all these hours of preparation and the hours of grinding, the 1,600 kills, and then when people just comment like, yeah, this is clearly hacked, it ran right past you, I'm just like, well, don't mind all my hours and figurative blood, sweat, and tears that went into that then, I guess. What was that that I just missed? Knife Man, thank you for the super chat. Shuttle 1, not 172, 272.8 max weight diamond white tail a few days ago. We wouldn't have taken the shot if 
you, identify what a known host max weight. I've done that a couple times too. I'm just assuming that a diamond's gonna be average size and ends up being huge. I think that works though. Is that a red deer? No, it's a road deer. Dang. Um, when you're not trying too hard, when you're not overthinking it, it can actually be better. Can't believe we're checking these areas. I never would have, never would have dreamed that I'd be looking down here for red deer, but here we are. Do you prefer hunting from a tree stand or a blind in real life? I can't stand blinds. I really can't. Uh, Kyle and I hunted in a blind for a good chunk of rifle season. I will tell you one thing. They afford you so much movement. Um, because of the way that everything went this season, literally, like, never once did we sit in a tree stand or a blind and the deer came from where we expected or planned them to. I think... I guess, uh, the first... The first day of archery, they kind of came right where, where I thought they would. But, I mean, we were able to completely shift around in the blind. You know, get the gun around, get the camera swung around. That's the one thing they do afford you, but... All I want to do is be able to sit in one spot, sit still, and be able to cover like 180 degrees with my eyes, turn and look behind me with my head. But when you're in a blind, you've got all that, you know, the, the material in the way. you got to shift around to even be able to see. I just don't like it. I, uh, I would much prefer to basically be able to be out in the open, not get the afforded movement, but be able to have an easier time seeing. That, I mean, that's the thing though, like people that don't know about bugs and stuff like that just assume that you're hacking. And it's not like I blame them necessarily, but it just sucks to be accused of hacking when you're putting in so much time to do it legit when, again, we just talked about it. Um, it's not like it's, it's not, it's not like it takes a lot of effort to, to get the mods or hacks or whatever people use. Like it's literally running rampant through the community right now. Anybody that decides that's how they want to play the game you know, in that hacking, cheating kind of way. If they want to do it, they do it. And yeah, it's not like that requires any effort, but here we are putting in the effort and still getting uh, called out sometimes. It just happens that way. Have they reset the populations yet? I think it's gonna be in February sometime. I have found that on big videos showing your time played over the last two weeks, just people right up. I, I don't know. I've never showed it. I've stated it. Like in comments and some people don't seem to care. Are you saying like you actually show it on screen? Because that, that might be smart, but then again, <laughs> it's not hard to fake that. Like Kyla leaves her game up all the time and goes and takes pictures out in the snow. <laughs> Tanner, thank you for the super chat. Except for ultimate hunting, what are your thoughts? Could it compete with Call of the Wild? All right, gonna be 100% upfront and honest right now. I want it to do well because I've said this many times, I don't care if it's Call of the Wild or Classic or the Hunting Sim 12 <laughs> or Ultimate Hunting. I just kinda wanna play the most fun, the best hunting game, whatever it is, That that's what I'm here for. That's why I've played games like, uh, oh man, Mountain Hunting. The dev sent me a key to that and I was like, you know, this guy's got a good framework here. I want to give the game a little exposure. That's why I played Hunting Hunting Sim 2 as much as I did. They do have a lot right. So I wanted to give the game some exposure, give the devs some support, so that they have the opportunity to maybe make a better game down the road. When it comes to Ultimate Hunting, I really worry that they've been hyping it up for forever. I mean, how long have we been talking about Ultimate Hunting? It feels like it's close to a year. And I haven't seen any actual gameplay footage yet. The models and stuff look good. It's just that it's really difficult to set your expectations high for a game and then if it doesn't meet those expectations, for it to make a comeback, I guess. I think I messed up with uh, with Ultimate Hunting in that way. I thought it was going to be better than it was and it just kind of let me down and I couldn't really get into it. I don't know. I don't know for the... Um, the 
ultimate hunting situation. Could it compete with Call of the Wild? I doubt it. Um, Call of the Wild is a made... A made franchise, I guess you could almost say. Franchise is the wrong word. Um, classic and Call of the Wild. I'm making it into one thing there in a way. I think it may be able to have like longevity and stuff, but until I see gameplay and how smooth stuff is, because that makes a difference. Like, it has to have a real feel to it. What did that say? I gotta scroll up in my chat there to find that. Um, I screenshot it from my albino gator and didn't get a single person calling cheats. All previous gator bits have multiple people calling hacks. I usually don't get any... I, I have more problems with, like, the most random videos. Like, if I kill two diamonds in one multiplayer hunt, usually that will get it. It's usually not one random thing, so I never even thought to do it. It's not for me. I think that's why I grew to love this game, because even after my first time playing it, I was just like, this game sucks, and yet two years later, here I still am. Yeah, to be honest with you, I was kind of the same way. Now, my this game sucks mindset really came from, you know, I, I played Classic, I knew Classic really well, I thought this was going to be very much Classic-like, and it was not. So it took understanding how the game works to really like it, but it never, uh, I don't know, it was never like a letdown in the way that Ultimate Hunting was. Like, you could see the potential was there. The animals look good, like the, uh, the graphics were incredible. They just had to get some things right, and, you know, credit to the devs, they did. Last I asked, late 22 for a UH release, and that the trailer is almost done. I'm hoping for the best, man, but like I said, it's just... The problem, I think, is when it comes to anything like that, you've had people, like, saying, uh, yeah, this is the end of Call of the Wild, this is the one, and if it's not, like, <laughs> who's gonna end up being like, well, I'm still gonna play it, even though it's not as good. Like, you can't just decide it's the new king of hunting games. I think that's where I'm really, 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 really making a significant effort to not you know, place the crown on Ultimate Hunting's head of the best hunting game before it even comes out. If it ends up being great, like, I will make all kinds of videos, I'll play it, I'll enjoy it. But I'm not ready to, uh, to say that it's going to be great when I have yet to see any gameplay footage. I was like, holy freaking wobble, yeah. Yeah, gun, gun wobble, scope wobble, that's... That's tough to overcome with a, a controller as well. I get that. Alright, I'm feeling pretty convinced about this area. I mean, I don't think they'd be all the way over there, would they? Can't imagine. I mean, I've had them drink here, though. You know what? If we're going to be thorough, we're going to be thorough. We'll kind of go down around. Call me Joe Thorough. It'll never end Call of the Wild if UH is good. Both games will get played side by side just like Call of the Wild and Classic have. Yeah, um, to be honest, some, some of the people that said it was going to be Call of the Wild's end wanted it to be Call of the Wild's end, but yeah, like you said, here's the thing. And this is the, it was the same reason that a lot of people said Call of the Wild was going to kill Classic. A lot of people that I knew thought Call of the Wild looked like a good game, but they were, you know, Classic veterans. They didn't want Call of the Wild to kill Classic because they didn't buy it. Um, but... What it comes down to is, I've got 5,000 hours, hours in Call of the Wild. I've sunk in, you know, hundreds of hours to kill one particular animal at times. Why would I just drop the game? I mean, it would have to be the most revolutionary hunting game ever. And it's, it's not going to be so much better that you can't just go back to Call of the Wild. Joe Thorough, you like that? <laughs> When was this level 7 albino? I knew it. S stop killing cool things when I can't find any. Hmm? Oh dear. Have you ever played Open Country? Uh... I, uh, I saw that game, and I saw some gameplay, and I was like, yeah, that one's not for me. <laughs> it didn't look like 
the type of game that I can sink my uh, hours into to be. Uh, what happened? What was it? I did a, um... What game? I did a playthrough of a game one time, and nobody really cared for it. And when Open Country came out, I got the same kind of vibe. I was like, there's not enough hunting here, there's not enough stuff that most people are used to seeing, and everybody's gonna hate it, and it's just gonna make the game look worse, so I'm not gonna touch it, because some people are gonna like it. Is an albino mountain goat rare? Of course. Oh, even reserve. All right. Well, that'll do for that. 901. Let's go and reset the time at some random location here. Thinky W will add elephants to the game along with modern weapons like an AR-15 or something. Elephants, I think, are going to be unlikely. Now, I would have said lions were unlikely. Here's the thing, though, with elephants. The trophy lodge is obviously a huge part of the game. I mean, we see different uh, multi-mounts and poses and all this stuff happening in the lodge. I don't think you can fit an elephant in the trophy lodge. Not that I can see. So, like, how they would even begin to tackle that, I don't know. If they can make it work, it, it may be um, a thing we eventually see, but I think that is one of the limiting factors, even. Should check here, too. Let's go and give that a look. Oh no, our red deer, they're broken. It feels that way. Open country, I'd rate it 1 out of 10. Hand holdy reminds me of a kid's game. Ducks flying in circles, two meters off the ground, levitating elk. Yeah, again, like, I do get it. And I think uh, Call of the Wild might be partially responsible for this. The hunting game niche genre is not super competitive. And what I mean by that isn't that there are good or there aren't any good competitors. Obviously there are. There's not that many games. Like if, if you can make a game better than Classic or Call of the Wild, you're up there in the top two, three. Um, so I understand why you try to make a hunting game, but I just think they took the, the whole wrong approach. It's a message, bottom boy. No more modern boy. Did we kill any deer this year? I somehow managed to kill two deer and two hogs. Uh, between Kyle and I, we got three. Two does and a thick, non-typical buck. What's up, Russ? Any diamonds yet? We had the, uh, the troll rack level nine, or the troll level nine rack, I should say, but it was level eight. And that's been about it. We're, we're checking areas where we don't usually check today, so not as much as going on as far as kills. Just love discussion about hunting games in general. Always fun to talk about them. Yeah. Again, like I, uh, I think the world of hunting games is probably only now starting to kind of open up. I mean, the thing about it, you go back 2000 to, uh, to 2010 Cabela's entirely dominated the hunting game niche I don't like that word that doesn't seem right but I'm gonna keep going with it um, even to 2015 really I, th I think classic started to kind of gain some footing like 2013-14 when multiplayer came in but yeah, that's not that long in development cycles and, and stuff like uh, there's there's a lot of potential improvement to come. YouTube, probably. Probably that and uh, demonetized sticker along with it. All I hope is that Africa 2.0 has greater kudu. I do feel like we were uh, we were missing that with Verhunga. They announced kudu, I want to say. Like, I believe they they had a trailer or whatever before the map came out and Kudu were, like, announced and I just don't think people were ready for it to be lesser Kudu. It would only take one AAA game producer to put on a game on the mainstream instead of just being a niche. Did EA ever do any of... EA did do some hunting games. Now, I don't know 
how big of a hand they had in it, but Field and Stream uh, worked with EA back in like 2006. Those were some decent games too. I, man, I, <laughs> I was sitting there in first grade, not paying attention to a dang thing in class. I was heading home to chase a whitetail or something. Nice vertex. You play any farming sim? I've been kind of just getting into farming sim 22. Uh, man, I'd, I started on the hard mode. So you start with a, a good chunk of money already taken out of the bank. So every day slash month that passes, you pay interest. Um, I bought like literally one tractor and some land and have leased everything else. And essentially I leased equipment to, to harvest my fields and I think I lost a little bit of money in total. So I don't even know what I gotta do. I'm thinking the move is gonna be take the plow and um, create new fields, make them bigger. Maybe be able to make money that way. I may do some content on it once I learn the game better, but as of now, I just gotta figure out how to even, you know, make a, a profitable farm. What's a better strategy, spot and stock, or sit in a blind and call? In Call the Wild, spot and stock all the way. In Classic, there's a, a huge argument to be made that sitting in a stand and calling can be better. I mean, I, I've sat in tree stands in Classic and used 30 arrows and killed 30 animals. In Call of the Wild, if you sit in a tree stand, like you may catch the occasional animal leaving their zone. If you're in a stand where you can see a zone, you may be able to kill everything in that zone as they keep coming back nervous. But once that's gone, now you're waiting. Now you're waiting until zones end because Animals, most of the time, are just sitting still in a zone. Every now and then they move, but it... Yeah, it's just not as uh, reasonable in Call of the Wild. Cotton is a very good crop. See, the thing is, don't you need a big, like, cotton harvester or whatever? Like, I'm not going to be able to afford it, so I'd have to lease it. And I think that might be problematic. I don't know. I think per day matters, right? I don't think I can just hang on to at least item for forever. All right, we're gonna check here. We're gonna check here. And then we're probably going to start looking behind some tents. What I mean about behind tents, and I explained this in, in yesterday's video too, but I'll uh, maybe try to do a better job of explaining what I mean by that here. So when you've got like your grinding set up and you have tents put out to fast travel to and try to speed things up basically like I could fast travel here shoot the red deer that are down here and if there are red deer that are drinking like in this area they're not going to spawn in until you're more than 200 meters from that tent oftentimes I don't think I ever get more than 200 meters from tents and I think there's a good chance that there could be red deer that are hiding back there that I don't see so we're going to make a bigger effort to uh to see those today It costs money every day you lease? Yeah, that's what I thought. What gun are you gonna kill the Red Deer Great One with? I'm not gonna lie, I'm uh... I'm wondering if I should change up my approach. It kinda depends. If it's in an area where I can do one approach, I may use a different weapon. Either way, it's gonna be a bow of some kind. But... Yeah, I, it depends where it's at. There's something I'd like to do that I don't know that has been done. Uh, the thing that I was going to do has been done with a different weapon, but it's it, it's been with a bow, so it's kind of in the same class anyway. We'll see. I watch your vids every day. Well, I appreciate you, man. Did I see Lady Legends Red Deer? The, uh, the great one? I think I know what you're talking about. I assume. That or the Piebald Legendary. I know that was a thing, too. I shot a troll level 5 mule yesterday. He scored at 308.9. As it went up to 337. Dang, man. I think I shot a 311 level 4. Some of those mule deer don't make a lot of sense. Alright. Where... Where are they at? What's this? I don't usually go here early. The one advantage we have is Ibex are not out to drink here, so we're literally only 
dealing with Mouflon and any maybe Red Deer that have decided to say hi. Bengals or Rams? I'm not going to make my pick until, uh, until, like, maybe the day of or the weekend of, because I'm going to pay attention to, like, injury reports and see what's going on. There's a lot that can happen in, in two weeks. It's going to be tough to pick against Sparrow, though. Good lord. That dude's nuts. I was hoping you'd find it on December 12th at noon and take it with the 12 gauge. Oh, that would have been brilliant. 12 gauge is a good idea. Do I change my strategy entirely? I feel like that doesn't add too much intensity to uh, to getting it. Like it's a lot harder to mess up a 12 gauge shot, but it, I don't know. I might try it. Might might be kind of fun. We'll, we'll consider it. Best map for Red Deer for star or, uh, what's the best map for Red Deer on the starters? I am not sure I know what you mean by that. I thought I knew what you meant, but maybe I'm missing something. All right. I'm pretty convinced, once again, no Red Deer. It's interesting. I mean, we found some new Red Deer on the river. Nothing that would convince me, like, oh... You know, that's why we haven't had a diamond in a billion harvests. How many more rares do you think you need? For what? Starter maps? I mean, the only map that would be best for Red Deer on the starter maps would have to be Hirsch. That's, that's what I was confused about. Hi, Samper. Hey, what's up, TTV? I like that, uh change up of your name to put T in there. Brilliant. Okay. Um, how do... Let, let's do the old way. I used to... I guess I didn't know these outposts were here. I didn't have them or something. I used to run over to this lake and the only reason I'm going to do it is on the off chance that there's a red dude that spawns like right there or right there that's too close to the outpost and I wouldn't see it. I'm just trying to roll everything out. I, I know this can be slow. Um... I tried to do as much of this off stream as I could, but it just kind of seems like something that I should be doing on stream too, because then I can say in a video, like, all right, I'm going to go check everywhere, but, eh, you know, if it's not shown, then who's to say that I didn't just say I did it, but didn't do it? Stream is buffering? Looks fine on my end. No drop frames, no nothing. Why are mule deer a higher weapon class than whitetail and blacktail? Uh, well, they get way bigger than they should in terms of body size. For some reason, 210 kg is the max, which is like 462 pounds or some absurd number. Now, they should be a bigger weapon class. They're, they're a way bigger deer. But um, I think they should be a 5 and not a 6. Is bitrate good on your end? My stream keeps lagging on 1 gig Wi-Fi. Yeah. Buffered briefly, but not too bad. I might be YouTube having struggles because everything on mine is 100% smooth, not a single book, uh, drop frame or anything. The Ban Ham Hamner Hammer is back. You might actually know him because you uh, follow baseball more than me, but the Pirates had a closer named Jewel. Hamrahan? Hanrahan? Something like that? It reminded me of that. Haven't buffered at all? Yeah, it might be uh, YouTube servers having some struggles in different areas. I have a zone right next to one of the outposts over there. Well, I'm hoping that's the, uh, the answer to all my problems, because, man. And something else. I really, like, I, I was enjoying the uh, the routine that we had going once a week you know I'd kind of dump all my red deer rares and diamonds into one video do a do a little run for the video and be like all right see you next week where we're gonna try to kill a great one again I can't like I'm not even killing anything now to put in the videos so it's just like all right time to suck it up and go check all the areas I don't want to go to What's better, turkey or any type of duck? Better for what, I guess, is my question there. I'm not sure what you're asking me. 
I give you permission to get a great one now? Oh, thank you. I needed that. Was it like Hanrahan, Hanrahan or something? Yeah, I swear it was Hanrahan. I was gonna say Hamrahan, but I just thought of a hammer when I heard the name. It was, I think it was an N. Best map for moose and any tips for hunting? Best map for moose, probably Leighton Lakes. Um, the areas that moose can drink on Yukon and Medved, I think are a little tougher to hunt. So in terms of like being able to find the best number of moose quickly, I would, I would say Leighton. Tips for hunting, are, are we hunting moose or what are we after? Wait, really, PA Hunter? I don't imagine there's a ton of hand rands around, so I uh, I can imagine that would be the case. Favorite thing you ever shot in the Hunter? That's a tough question. Um, in Call of the Wild, one of my favorite kills ever is the Piebald Diamond Whitetail. It was live on Twitch, so to, to kill a super rare live, it was not only that, but it was the way in which it happened. Like, it wasn't like... You know, I saw him in the distance and stock closed. Like, he literally, much like the Great One, it ended up running past me because I was going to claim an animal. I didn't see him. I uh, didn't know that there was a, a level 3 in there. And he just ran past. And the first thing I saw was he was piebald and he was big. And then I spotted him and saw the 3. And I want to say back then, score estimates were guaranteed. Um, so I think I was able to know right away he was going to make time. But it was pretty cool. Can you do a video of how to hunt coyotes in Chila? Probably is your question there. I can tell you right now, if you hunt them during their drink time, which is midnight to 3 a.m. on Leighton, uh, a couple of those small lakes in Chila will often have them drinking there. Hope you get your great one ready before March 2nd. That's a interesting date. Why is that? Other than the main three lakes in the middle of Parquet, any other good black buck spots? There's a tiny lake in the far south that I've done pretty well on. Um, I'll get a few up in the Bosque Muerto area. Uh, yeah, I mean, they can kind of be scattered about in random places, but as far as hot spots, the, the areas you named would be the best. No worries, Danger. What's going on, Metalbeard? Something being wrong means something special is happening? I'm hoping for the best. You should use the 3030 for the Great One. That would be an interesting uh, weapon of choice. Should have done that for the Whitetail. I think at the time I still hadn't killed a Whitetail with any rifle but a 3030 in quite some time in her life. That's my birthday? I thought it might have been. I was wondering. Makes sense. Alright, this is not usually how I approach this lake, but I just wanted to kind of see things a little bit differently, so what would make the most sense? And probably, probably go this way. I do get them over there at times, but we'll see. How long left in the stream? About 50 minutes. Muzzle loader from 300 meters. Ooh, I don't know if I'd be brave enough to do that. What's up? I said nothing. At this rate, I need to check Parquet for Red Deer or even Hirsch. Yeah, to be honest, I'm just really determined to try to get one off a of Quattro. Um, I hunted Parquet. I don't remember if it was in single player for sure, but I think I did. And kind of looked a lot around for Red Deer. I didn't notice any. How the heck is your map this dead? I do worry after seeing what happened to Mel's Tay that I've heard. Yeah, Tay. Uh, that I might be running into such issues. I mean, I'm also going to places that I don't expect to see things, but... Like, there's areas, if we, if we want, we'll see a bunch of red deer, but I'm trying to look in the areas where they're usually not around. What sports did you play in high school? I actually didn't play many sports in high school. I played baseball. Um, grade school, I played football, basketball, and baseball, but kind of once I got to high school, I was like, yeah, I'm five foot 
hate, I'm gonna die if I do this. Probably wasn't even, I definitely wasn't 5 foot 8 yet at the time. Have you ever gone ice fishing? I have not. I think it would be a cool thing to do, but never had the chance to really. I wish you could put down feed to utilize the various hunting stains and blinds around the map. You know, that's the one thing about um the stains and blinds. Like in classic, the oh there we go, the um, stands are often in really good areas. In Call of the Wild, it almost feels like they're kind of randomly scattered around, and sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Do you fish at all? Yeah, I do. We've got a creek running through our front yard. I haven't gotten to fish in it yet. I didn't uh, move here until September, and the amount of stuff I had going on trying to get things ready for Kyla coming out in the archery season, I just never never went. But I intend to fish here a good bit in the coming days. That's not a very impressive red deer. I was hoping for the best there. Don't even know where he ran. I'm not dead set on killing him. Like, if he's not visible, that's fine, but yeah, I was kind of open to see that uh, 225 to 260 track can be done. I assume the great one can warn and call, but maybe not when you're running and the wind is bad. Played football in high school at 6'1", 275. I was a decent lineman until I took a bad hit in my second year and messed up my shoulder and neck. Yeah, that, to be honest, that's what I was worried about being schmoll. I think I would have gotten smoked. I don't remember ever hit, getting hit too hard in grade school, but I don't think anybody hits that hard in grade school. Actually, never mind. In practice one day, the, uh, the kid that was just, like, better at every position than everybody else, like, he played running back, but he could have played wherever he wanted. I caught a pass, and the coach threw it too high, and he absolutely smoked me. It was like getting hit by a train. I, I remember being a little bit dizzy, but I hopped up and I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Just don't throw it to me the next three plays till I cough up enough blood. I guess the only hard hit I ever took was from my own team. Imagine that. Anyone know if Whitetail drink at the small old Blacktail Lake in Upper Belmont? Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, I used to shoot whitetail there. I don't know if they drink there now, but I definitely, I've even shot diamonds there. I'd give it a look. The thought of a moose great one makes me drool. That was funny, like EW posted that poll. Um, it was like, you know, what great one would you want to see next? And a moose won by a landslide. Got my first diamond in Red Fox, nice. What'd that say? I bounced my head off a wall diving for a loose ball once in middle school basketball and to this day I still get migraines on that side of my head. Yikes. How many things like that, you know, happen when you're, who knows, 12 and affect you forever and you don't even realize it? Probably more than you'd think. Because I know that stuff, like... Development wise, like your brain needs way beyond middle school years to be fully developed. I'm gonna assume, David, that that probably still affects you to this day as well, speaking of stuff like that. How many species have great one variants right now? Right now, just two red deer and whitetail. Man, I thought this lake would have more than one random stag. It's a little bit lame. My body is wrecked from skating for the last 18 years. Just tuning in, what's up with the red deer? Uh, essentially 900 kills since our last diamond. Um, it just, something feels off. That, that's the best I can describe it as. I'm just kind of being extra cautious and looking around and making sure we're not missing something. Uh, Dylan, thank you for the super chat and the sticker. I was a college dropout. I was indeed. Too big dumb for the real world. I 
Well, let's say I'm convinced. Nothing else. Rabbit tracks. Okay. So, uh, we'll check up here before we're done. I don't think there's any red deer up there, but then again, like if red deer can drink here, why can't they drink there? Actually, that's a quick one. Literally right by a lodge. I sense the disturbance of the red deer force. Well, between sensing a disturbance and literally like uh, close to five times the normal average kills per diamond, I just... I could be, you know, having the worst luck streak ever, but at the very least, mentally what it does for me to check every spot and be sure that there's not a great one or a diamond on my map is just like, all right, I can put my head down and keep grinding. Like, I don't have to have this thought in the back of my mind that I'm wasting my time by grinding because there's something that I already want that's out there. I'm just not checking that spot. You can always check the lake where I got my great one on, the big lake where Rona drink. Uh, this one? I go there a lot. I'm mostly checking the spots where I don't go today. How'd you make so much money? I've got, uh, let's see, 5,067 hours and 41,092 harvests, so it kind of just naturally ends up happening money just adds up after that much time all right checking behind tense time this is gonna be an interesting part of the stream the river yeah I checked um, I'm gonna say about 60% of it before the stream and like the other 40% uh, at the very beginning great one around the next corner I hope so you know the thing that sucks too is like yeah I check the tracks behind the tents pretty often, so I'm not super optimistic this is the answer, but eh, you never know. Rabbits and mouflon and stuff leave tracks, yeah, you may well have a track that's just not showing up. Uh, Dylan, thank you for the super chat again and the sticker that um, replicates my reaction to no big male red deer in the last 12 years. Are geese still broken? At the moment, yes. Evidently, the upcoming update should fix that. Alright, I get it. You're mad at me. Stop your warning calling, sir. I've rode here for days over here in Mouflon. Ah, big male. That's what I live for. Level 5 stags. Holy. Okay, well... Yeah, now is the interesting part. Now we're going to run back around. You know, I never go down this side. It'd be funny if there was like a great one up in these trees. Or somewhere where I just can't see. I think that's the fatal flaw in some of my grinding. Like, I don't look in the super dense areas. What's up? Huh. Hi. Did you go to that? <gasps> no, no, you skip the outpost on the right side of the river. No, I'd be like, yo, you got like four stacks here. Right? Oh, yeah. Where I shot those stacks? I know you're watching I the chat. Have a full screen chat over here. I shot. That's where the big mythical was at the start of the stream, too. Geology class. We just did that. You did it already? Me and you did it. On stream? No. You can't hurt my guy. I only say that because I'm not mine. I don't know if we'll get to do it on the stream or not. I should probably do another one, but I feel like that was... Goodness gracious, there's a bunch in here. I feel like that was the last thing we did. Is that good? Man, it looked good. It might be. It might be, might not be. Hey, Bottom Boy, thanks for the, uh, the super chat and the sticker. I'm going to need all the good lucks and all the have funds if I want to get this great one, it feels like. So here's the thing. Um... Yeah, I feel like the only possible way that we could be missing a great one is like over in that area, if it was spawned by the tent. Doesn't exactly seem likely, but we'll see. Next great one's gonna be like Robids. 
I like the robots. I thought that was fun. Where did those red deer come from? Like I said, they're kind of hiding up here in the in the trees, where they're not as visible. I do, and I've been planning on doing this in a couple of spots. I do think it's probably smart to approach lakes from different angles than you usually do, and maybe run through the brush, look for tracks, just, you know, make sure there's nothing hiding in, in areas where you maybe are just assuming you can see when you can't. Kyla, thanks for becoming a uh, seven-month member. Too kind. The giant turkey in Classic Ormy are a uh, interesting idea to say the least, but I actually think it was rather smart of them. They have, I mean, every couple of months they have something going on. It almost seems like, you know, I think the impression around Classic is that it's generally dead, but they actually do stuff often. What is the perk? Where did that go? What is the perk called that shows the animal when you scope in? Uh, that would be sight spotting. So in your it's actually skills, top of the ambusher tree, sight spotting there in tier two. Surprised the M1 takes down red deer so easily. It's a powerful weapon. It, it it wouldn't. I wouldn't expect it to be that good, but it just is. That's a nice looking stag. Kind of got a great one looking shape to its rack. Alright, really make sure anything that was close to the tent when we spawn. You know what actually would make a lot of sense? Now that I'm that far away, why don't I just fast travel back? Because we're not out of render of where those things could be, so if anything was around, in theory, it should like go running because we just fast traveled right beside it. I don't see any movement, so I'm going to guess that we're probably good to move on to the next one. Is it worth saving for the 22H? I mean, it's a fun gun to use, it's got some functionality, but it's not the most useful for, uh, for most normal loadouts. I really try to fit it into the uh, ultimate loadout, I tried. It just, it didn't make sense. Oh yes, big male. <laughs> that's what we're here for, level twos and level fives. Give me more of them, please, game. That's that's why I've been putting in all these hours, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, at least there's a two. If Africa 2.0 comes out, you need the 22 in birdshot versus bush elephant. God, would that ever kill it? Okay, bye. I don't know where he's going. See that small male in the middle there? Alright. Let's see if we can get them both. I hope we're not... Yeah. There's actually a gap there that we can kill him in if we time the shot right. Gotta wait for the... Oh, Alright. What's he doing? Might be wolves? Yeah. They must be running over there. Let me shoot my big male. No. Oh, 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 okay. Stuck works too. Big small. He's gonna float all the way back, I think, but the good news is by the time that we run and look back, it's probably fine. Uh, where is he? What gun do you need for Red Deer? Any uh, any gun that covers Class 6 will work. Anything from the M1 to uh, the 30 6 to the 303. Technically, even the 243 will work. Now, that is realistically a little underpowered, but if that's all you have, it can definitely do the job. Kyla shot her great one with the 243, in fact. Why is your grind so slow? I think there's a combination of things. Number one... Whatever's happening right now, where we just haven't had a diamond in forever, it's just kind of 
it's making it tough to want to continue grinding because it just doesn't feel like we're making any progress. So if we can break that dry spell, you know, it'll be a little easier mentally to, you know, get back out there and keep grinding. I think the other aspect of it being slow is just like I haven't had the time to put in that I did with the original Leighton Whitetail grind. Like it came out, I remember I was in the tree stand um, when the first Red Deer Great one was uh, was posted. Now it, it was a dead one that somebody found, but I was it was a morning rut hunt, so I ended up you know packing up, heading back because got a job to do at the end of the day and make a video or a stream or whatever on that and uh yeah i mean only recently have i have i been able to really start to ramp up the amount of time i can put in and even then like i said it, this stretch has been tough with the lack of anything to kind of rest our head on of you know this is this is where our progress lies I hate wolves, I shot a 9 in the face without note, it was a 9, and the score was diamond because I shot in the face, it was a silver. That shouldn't be possible. Um, it may have been a troll. You can only lose one metal. Like, you could have a diamond that you ruin all four harvest checks on, and it will still be a gold. Like, you can't end up with a bronze, regardless of how many harvest checks you lose, so it may have only been a gold at best. When's your real-life DU video coming out? The current outlook looks like uh, sometime around summer. Look at that. Brute. Beautiful. So yeah, I, I've talked about this um, a fair bit. Where else? What tents do I need to look at? Probably these down here. So basically, we've been working with a... Uh, TV network wild TV is the name of them and what should happen is the episode should air there and then should drop on a YouTube channel sometime after that I, I don't know how soon after hopefully very soon after but I'll have to look into that okay so plan is basically to run all the way over to the other side make sure nothing spawns in move to the next is Africa 2.0 confirmed? Nah, I don't even... We're just kind of assuming there's eventually going to be another Africa map, but... It could be this year, it could be in five years, who knows. Did you get a buck this year? I did. Uh, if you want to see pictures of it, it's on my Instagram. It's on the community tab here on YouTube, in fact. Um, there's probably other... It's in my Discord, too. That would be a place you can find it really easily if you're already there. There's a text channel called Flantro's Buck. Um, that's got the last three bucks that I've killed. Might be Flantro's Bucks, actually, but you get it. I watch your videos every day, and I hope you do really well, maybe? Got the really part. Appreciate you, regardless, man, for watching. That's uh, quite the commitment to watch every day. All right. Some mouflon over in there. I think those are ones we've seen. What I don't see is a red deer. This was the place where we shot our big piebald mythical uh, back in the day, and I always hope to see some other special thing here, but no such luck. And the thing is, we ran down the the edge where they should be drinking and saw no tracks, so I'm I'm pretty convinced there's none here. In that case. To the next. I'm beyond hyped to see the finished product. Will the Wild TV season be called season one? Probably. I don't know. I feel like it almost shouldn't be because we've got two past seasons on YouTube. I'll have to see. It would kind of make sense, like television-wise, for it to be season one. I guess we'll find out. I imagine that's a decision that we'll have to make eventually. Uh, let's actually go this way. I usually run around all... The, oh, hello. A mythical and a five. I usually run around that side, um, and it's mostly to claim those deer, the ones that are in that zone. But, uh, 
Hello. Interesting. For the sake of switching it up, maybe we'll go a different direction. I think already we're seeing stuff that I don't usually see. I'm not used to seeing wolves there. Uh-ohs. You don't see any wolves, it's fine. Don't worry about the wolves. Lung chat. Lung chat. Good, good, good. Right, I got three here already. Mythical. That needs to be a emote somehow. It's gotta be a way. A mythical. Load out. Emote. Not load out. Is your M1 bug too where it hits high left? I've not noticed any issues with it. I tend to intentionally go for a lot of hard shots and it usually lands. That or I, I am low and right of the heart most of the time and it ends up working out. Um, so what you can do, I just saw this recently with the Mosin. Um, if you have like a uh, software that puts a crosshair in the center of your screen and a lot of monitors come um, out of the box, they can do that. You can, for one, this technically is like a way to cheat the system with a recurve or a longbow because it shows you exactly where it's going to hit. Don't do that, that's lame. Um, what I'm talking about is you can see if the crosshairs are off. So if you feel like you're hitting high and left, if you've got that uh, software showing where the middle of your screen is and the crosshairs aren't exactly on that, then yeah, it would be off. The Mosin, for instance, you can compare like another scope and it'll be dead on and the Mosin... It's just off by a couple pixels, and you imagine like a 300 meter shot, maybe the scope's not all the way zoomed in. Those couple of pixels are a ton at that range. Uh, Griffin, thank you for the super jet. Had an issue with my mule deer not showing up to zones at all on Silver Ridge. Has this happened to you? So the issue with, um, with mule deer, it could be a number of things. If it's zones where mountain lions are around, you may be getting mule deer that are consistently being spooked and never end up at their zone. Uh, and their zones are also very short. So, I'm assuming you're talking about drink zones at least, that, that is short. Um, if by chance, maybe you have them coming in a little bit slow, some species have been slow to their zones, including red deer. You know, when they only drink for that short period of time, they might just be so late that they never go there. This is in real life, but I had a buddy who would shoot with this scope slightly off kilter, and it was the most annoying thing to look at. Like, twisted, almost? Does that make sense? Is that is that what you're referring to, or off kilter in a different way? In the meantime, by the way, let's uh, make sure... Nothing back by where we spawn, doesn't look like it. It's kind of funny, mentally, and obviously you guys can't read into this, so I have to explain it, but at the start of the stream, I was kind of feeling like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna find that great one today, wherever it's hiding, and now it's just, it's a little bit mentally freeing to be like, alright, my luck sucks, but it's not that there's just a, a great one or a diamond that I've been missing. It's still possible, we got a couple places to go, but could be the case. How oh, nice, Kyla. Instead of being noon and six, it'd be like one and seven. Oh my god, how? I'd miss everything just because I'd be looking at that being like, no, this isn't right. When I started using my dad's old 3030, uh, so the way that it worked is like, when I got to be 13, which technically is not the uh, legal age to hunt by yourself, but you know. I guess that was the age at which I was trusted to handle a gun by myself. I would use the 30-30, and then Isaac would still go with my dad, and he would take the 243. Dad bought the 243 for us. Uh, it was like a youth gun, so, you know, that was the younger kid's gun. But anyway, eventually, you know, the 243 was deemed a little bit uh, underpowered, and Isaac was going on his own. Dad also had a Winchester 30-30. I think from when he used to take my mom hunting, she's left-handed. And this 30-30 was top eject, so it's not like a left-handed gun, but it, it's not really right-handed either. But a top eject 30-30 has the scope, like, a little bit off to the side. I think there's a classic gun in the Hunter Classic that uh, that does that, but man, I he would use it. I don't think he ever killed a deer with it. I think he shot one in the leg one time, but 
I just could never be accurate with that. It's so much different than any other gun that I've ever shot. Alright, okay. Don't want to blind everybody. That was the wrong pair of binoculars. This lake has been interesting. Um, hmm. Wolves are not the reason why. I've been getting them here and there, so we'll, we'll see uh, what shows up. I think the problem with your red deer is that you're not hunting them on Valdebois. Actually, I was hunting them on Valdebois. I shot one earlier today for the mission, so so that's that's not it either. Lemon pecker. <laughs> oh, that'll be clip. Lemon pepper chicken. So literally, we were at Walmart the other day, and there was lemon pepper seasoning, and I was like, ah, yeah, let's get that, and we didn't do that, and now we don't have it. MT Vids, thanks for coming to channel member, man. I feel like that would give me problems too. I've never shot a top eject. Yeah, just that scope being not where you're used to placing your like cheekbone against the stock of the gun. It's a bit of a like it breaks all muscle memory. So unless you really practice with it and get to where your muscle memory is uh, used to dealing with that, I think it's tough. Good work, really. That might work, Kyla. Maybe. You're the professional around here. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Alright. Anything up in there? I don't think they're spawning over there, but then again, I can't find a great one by any other means, so I might as well cover all my bases. Hello. Troll Rack Mythical number two today. Mythical in tow number two read today. I guess that's a good sign. Still not the ultimate result that we're after, but uh, can take some solace in knowing that we're finding something good. I'm pretty well convinced anything in there would have spawned. We'll still check back before we go to the next lake. I've heard Layton's got some issues, Kermit. Had to renew my sub for some reason my payment declined. I guess my paycheck came in late. YouTube's weird with the uh, declining payments, though. Every now and then it'll just happen. I've had it happen a couple of times myself. Uh, Dave, thank you for the super chat. Started watching recently. Glad to find you. Enjoy the content. Would love more IRL hunting. Well, you're in luck. Um, I've got an entire season of that filmed from 2021. That will start to drop probably this summer sometime. Um, I'm excited to actually have content releasing that way. So like this year kind of was unfortunate. We didn't have any real life hunting content outside of like the scouting video I did in September. But going forward, like right as archer season started to heat up, we should be dropping IRL content. I think that's going to be a good way to, to go. 12 more minutes before a great one shows up. Holy, I'm ready. Kyla sneeze. She must have used Cajun seasoning. Found anything yet? We've had three different mythicals. Still nothing that, you know, would make me think, ah, yes, this is the reason that I've had these drugs. Like, I've had a bunch of mythicals in in runs before. This isn't really anything new. Oh, thank God for Sir 12. He's going the right way. I'm dying. <laughs> Yeah, Cajun Seasoning just does that. I'm telling you, we need to start wearing our masks. Heart Shadow Melon is a black tail. Nice. Do you have any quick tips on respawns and any idea why I'm only fighting one animal in need zones when I haven't hunted the area before? Eh, they might just be zones that only have one animal in them. That happens. Uh, as for respawns, nobody knows exactly how they work, but... Generally speaking, the way that I approach it is once I've done an entire run, and what I mean by run is like, say, eh, one full length of Red Deer drink time. So they drink from 5 to 9. Once I get to 9 o'clock, what I'll normally do is exit the game, start it again, and that seems to basically get the respawns to be in their place. And by the way, you'll hear all kinds of things. Uh, some people claim you got to fast forward six days to uh, to get the response to happen. That might be a diamond ibex. 
I might shoot that. Anyway. Like, no one knows exactly what works, but what I will say is I was able to get my Great One Whitetail without doing the whole six to eight thing. Like, it was literally, you know, hunt the Whitetail, drink time, close the game, reopen the game, continue from there. Yeah, they were tough to, you know, time zones are a big factor there, bottom boy, because for him, that's 8 p.m. Uh, when we were starting them, but we were doing them like 2 p.m. my time. Well, 2 p.m., I'm usually working on videos and stuff, like, and uh, my videos usually release at 5, so I have to work in that time frame. And if it's after 5, that's like 11 for him. It just really was not all that feasible. I guess if we did it in the morning, but then he's at work. That was kind of uh, <laughs> where, where the problems there came from. Is that the one? Yeah. Why not? I'll shoot it. On the off chance that it actually makes diamond as a four. What? Did that not hit it? No, it did. I think it was a straight vertebrae shot though, so a little unfortunate. Might have got a lung on that quick follow-up. Uh, our little red deer friend. That wasn't the one that I saw. There was a five. What kind of switcheroo magic trick was that? I think I just spooked the five. Another troll nine? I'd... <laughs> I'll take it off your hands. I'd like to see a nine. Even if it's a troll. How many trolls do you have on the grind out of curiosity? Bunch of Ibex over there. I'm not used to seeing them. Oh, big meal. <laughs> That's a Hall of Shamer right there. I might have to smoke that too. Holy. Crushed him. Big fat L right there, indeed. We'll be running for 12 years to go and claim everything, but at least it'll give us the time to move around this lake. I forget if this is the one where I shot the Melanistic or not. Might have been. Time zones are whack. It should be 4.42 for everyone. Middle of the night, tough. It's 4.42 p.m. I, I wouldn't be mad if it worked that way. Although in hunting season, it would be a problem. Is 4.58 max score for reindeer? There is no max. Uh, I think there's been some 4.60s. I want to say a 4.64 happened at one point. There's a hind coming out of there. Alright, who's next? Step right up. Where's the great one? Hiding in that brush, I believe. If you really believe, it'll happen, right? Scale of 1 to 10, how shocked are you that Cincinnati pulled off the comeback yesterday? I wouldn't have expected it, but I wouldn't say I'm shocked either. I mean, they already did it once, right? So it's hard to be too surprised by that happening. But, um, bro's nuts. I mean, they, they've won some games that they shouldn't have won. They probably had no business beating Tennessee, getting sacked nine times. But they did it, and yeah, they were just good. Didn't we get chicken broth? I think we settled on only beef broth, if I recall correctly. Or no, we got the uh, canned stuff. It's, I don't know if we ever got actual broth. I think we said the chicken soup or something will work. Another stag. Interesting. Who is the and where... May I shoot you? So what that might be, I'm gonna slow down just in case. Uh, that could be a case of we're too close to where he normally spawns and have to wait, have to go around like that to get him to show up. Cream of chicken. I'm so hyped being 10 miles from since he getting the Super Bowl after 31 years. It's a long drought. Oh, that's, that's not exactly the great one that I was hoping it was going to be when it called. We'll take him. Hunting pressure for days. We can go, go get our uh, our big male level one over there. Gotta go get that maybe diamond that I might have messed up. Of course, it ain't a red deer because that would never happen. Which way... Go this way? No, 
Oh, there we go. Where's the answer, 12? Just got home from school, nice. All right, I guess we're going, going this way. Oh, he's right there, wow, that's rough. Your casual sidestep shooting through brush shots aren't fair sometimes. I still think that the ability to uh, control weapon sway, sway with a mouse um, cannot be overstated in how useful it is. Like, especially when it's uh, in comparison to on console. Like, I'd, I'd never attempt it on console. What is Rocky Elk Diamond Trophy rating? 481, I think. Heh, <laughs> not only was it vertebrae, it missed by 0.7, so I'm kind of glad that one wasn't a diamond. Alright, at least we got a, a thick Hall of Shamer over here. Wow, I think that female might be bigger. I'm a huge Broncos fan, so I'm just thrilled KZ got sent home. I can finally just enjoy a Super Bowl without being emotionally invested in a team losing in a long stretch of KC in New England. Yeah, I get that. I mean, definitely being a Steeler fan, I'm kind of required to root for the Rams, I think, but I don't dislike Burrow in the way that I think normal rival quarterbacks I'm supposed to dislike. Shot my first diamond yesterday, shot my first diamond today. Nice, guys. Alright, here's big male level one track. Oh, no. Did it float away? I think it did. How did I not notice that? America wins with the Super Bowl? I don't disagree. Where even is it? Sir 12 knows. It had to have floated, but why? Why can't I see it? He knows better than me. Speaking of sports, do you watch any hockey? I don't really follow hockey. Uh, I'll watch like the Stanley Cup Finals that the Penguins are in it, but yeah, I'm not gonna act like I. I'm a diehard Penguins fan. I just watch when I know they're there. There he is. Our Gigantosaurus. I'll lean Rams because of Von Miller, but it would be really cool since he takes it home too. Yeah, I, uh, I think both teams, the story is going to be good. No hopes for dinner? It's fine. Don't even worry. Alright, let's see what this absolute beast of a southeastern Spanish Ibex is. Oh, yes. <laughs> we need to make a Hall of Shame of level one Billy Goats. That's right. Billy belongs in the Hall of Shame. Gigantosaurus got me. Kelly Stafford deserves the Super Bowl. Honestly, I was it you that I was... Uh, talking to about that like you don't see a lot of NFL players wives make the news minus Giselle absolutely roasting Wes Welker for dropping that pass but like the only thing you hear about Kelly Stafford is like her telling the home fans like don't sell your tickets I actually show up and root for the the team and uh, I think it's cool they're actually gonna play the Super Bowl in their hometown now how, how do tickets work when it's that because I know Normally, ticket sales for like playoff games are only available to like. There's only a certain percentage that like away team fans can even get a hold of. Oh, you're right, bottom boy. I don't think they're married yet. Those, but still, same concept. You've shot 14 diamonds and eight trolls in the past day. What? That's insane. Does scent blocker work? Uh, I think it does. To be completely honest, I don't use it. If you play the wind, it's kind of unnecessary. 
I noticed you set your time to 5.30. I have some red here that we're not coming to the zone until 7. Yeah, so, some of mine are showing up late as well. I'm just kind of going with the, the time that it's supposed to be for now. Look at all these piglets. Look at all those chickens. That's a chunk. Hold on. Okay. Not going to pretend I could do that again. Nice little 122, though. Not bad. Wondering if there's any roe deer, but I just realized roe deer don't drink until six, so that was kind of a waste of time. All right, we're gonna go check up here. By the way, to get back to your question about red deer not showing up till seven, half of my point right now of running in these places where I don't expect to see red deer is, yeah, they might be there, and maybe I'll find some tracks and find out. Otherwise, I'm just killing time. You know where I never check for red deer? They can't drink here, right? I never ever go there. There's no way. It's like on a mountain that I think only Ibex and Wolves drink at. I don't have a tent there anymore. Where I would look. Tan. What's that? Road here. Bro got quick scoped. A little bit. Got a diamond wild boar. 159.4. That's 0.1 below max. Nice, man. Do you have any tips on getting the great ones to spawn? I'm 13k kills in with multiple diamonds and rares. I mean, I can't, I can't get mine to spawn, so I don't know that I have much uh, to add to that. I have way less kills too. Never seen red deer there either. Yeah, I don't expect to see him. Um, literally, like I said at the beginning, I'm trying to be as thorough as Joe thorough as I can be. Just cover all my bases. At the very least, at the end of the stream, because there's only one tent that I had think maybe they could be hiding behind when it comes to any of my other tents like this lake I have both sides this lake I have both sides this lake I go all the way around um, this lake and this lake I have both sides there's there's no way that I'm missing a red deer that's spawning by one of my tents so basically uh, by the time this stream ends we check the one last spot that I want to check the one thing that I can say is all right it's not it's not because I have a diamond or a rare hiding somewhere that I'm not checking. Or a diamond or a great one, rather. I uh, just gotta put my head down and keep grinding and hope that it shows up soon because this is nuts. Any reason that some of my white tail zones are losing all the bucks? So that just happens. Um, I think what's important to understand is that your respawns don't always go back into the same place. And what I mean by that is, like, let's say you shoot a level 3 whitetail. The buck that respawns from that level 3 may not be back in the exact same zone. It may spawn somewhere else. Now, you're most likely going to get a different buck in that area, maybe from another another buck that you shot. But it's probably just that. They're just spawning elsewhere. You can try to shoot all your does, see if they come back. You have a great one on Hirsch. I saw Victory Kill does a great one on Hirsch. I can't believe that. Hey, by the way, I actually should uh, address something as well. I mentioned in yesterday's video about the upcoming pop reset for Quattro, Verhunga, Mississippi, and Rancho, I think. Because um, a lot of people were saying, like, well, pop reset shouldn't affect your grind. I was never trying to say that it would affect the grind. My point was that, like, if you have a great one on your map and the pop gets reset, it's gone. And I guess the other side of it is, if I have 4,000 kills and then the pop is reset, I see no reason to claim that I'm on kill 4,001 after the reset. Because, like, once the pop is reset, none of those kills impacted the reset whatsoever. So, like, I might as well start from zero again. Which is fine by me, I don't care. But, um, as far as, like, all the work that went into those 4,000, it would be nice to yield the result that I'm trying to get. So that's why I'm kind of doubling my efforts at the moment. Last time I hunted reds on Hirsch, I found like three herds in a couple hours. Yeah, me too. <laughs> There's a couple spots where I know where they are. Otherwise, nope. <laughs> Not finding nothing. Love your commentary style. You seem extremely laid back. I think that's the uh, probably the right way to describe it. I'm just... The cool thing about like these streams, the way that I look at it, I'm just hanging out with you guys. Like, it's... Uh, 
The difference between YouTube and Twitch is like Twitch is a little more conversational. Like it's a lower viewer count um, and therefore less chats per second, let's say, or per minute, whatever. And that allows me to like find the response to whatever I say. Like by the time I'm done answering something like this, a lot of times your chat's nearly off the screen and like it's a whole new set of messages. So I'm kind of just answering questions, but I don't mind that. It can be a QA and a style for, uh, for this type of thing. It's just fun to hang out. The only grind I have is for a ruined Ibex to complete the Grand Slam. I think that was the last one I got as well for mine. It took a while. at my parents. My mom just texted me and said, I don't even know what that is. All right, anyway. Last chance, last spot. And oddly enough, there seems to be nothing here. So, usually they're over there, or sometimes if I run back this way, they're in here. They've moved a lot of this lake. You know what sucks is they, they were super consistent for over 2,000 kills, always spawning right there. I think I show up today being shy. Maybe. Wolves. Are diamond light brown turkeys rare? Alright, so here's the deal with uh, things like light brown turkey and black brown spring buck and stuff like that. Apparently the changes they made were intentional, but I, I still feel that there should be some tweaks. So you've got like a light brown uh, Rio Grande turkey over on Rancho. Those aren't the white color that light brown Merriam turkeys are. And I think that makes sense for them to be common, but the light brown Merriam turkeys like being white, I don't think anything that looks like sort of albino or leucistic should be any degree of common. And unfortunately right now they are rather common. I've got a diamond light brown on my map. I've just been refusing to shoot it because I still feel like there should be tweaks made. Guessing road a troll lot. I got three very big trolls in the last two days. I don't think they usually do. That might be some pretty terrible luck. I'm not used to seeing many ruin the trolls anyway. The weird thing about Ibex is like the, uh, the spread of the horns matters a lot and they're one of the most commonly like weird horn species. You'll get a lot of weird spreads. Do you just like the fact that raccoon are going to be class 2 after the update? It only makes sense. Um, they max at 13 kg. Gray Fox max at 6.8. Why would Gray Fox be class 2 and raccoons be class 1? Uh, again, Red Fox max at 15.4. Basically that same area must deer at 17 like there's a bunch of stuff that's already class 2 um that are around the same size or even smaller than raccoons so i think that's probably correct uh hmm interesting let's keep moving back here um now do i think that you shouldn't be able to shoot shoot him with a 22 i think the 22 is probably one of the more likely weapons you'd hunt them with in real life, but eh, you know. Th there's a lot of things that don't make a lot of sense in that regard. I remember a lot of people made a big deal. I don't think you could shoot Whitetail with a 30-06 when it first came out. If I remember right, uh, that was not a thing. And definitely the 7 mil. You couldn't shoot Whitetail with the 7 mil. And uh, a big enough deal about that was made that eventually it was changed by the devs, but yeah, I don't, uh, I don't mind it. Shoot him with the 22H or heck the 243. Uh huh. I just looked over there, ma'am, and I didn't see anybody. I guess I gotta run all the way back around now because fast travel and spook him. What's up, Ty? Made it through a stream. We are unfortunately very close to wrapping up, but still got a couple of minutes to, to swing around and try to see what's going on down at the other end of this lake. That's basically true. Kyla uses the mods and I approve them. Kyla has a better grasp of what's happening in chat than I do usually because half the time I'm staring at the screen responding to whatever was just said, attempting to 
you know, shoot a level 1 Ibex or whatever goes on. Best gun for diamond... Diamond blocks? Grind? Now, like, you ain't been choosing them for over a year? For Kyla? Uh, it's been quite some time since I probably acted. I think there's been a couple names that I've bounced off her, but like, she approves those if I come up with it. It's a team, team effort, I guess. What's up, Grayson? Just woke up not long ago about to have coffee. Nice. Ooh. Coffee, 5 p.m. coffee. Do I do it? I might do it. I got, what was it? It was like a, it was Coffee Made Brand, which I never buy name brand coffee creamer, but it was like a little Debbie cake of some kind or something, and I have other creamer that I need to use up before I open it. Might do it. Gonna make some? Yes. I will stream for five extra minutes just to get coffees, or to have coffees ready when I'm done, I mean. Okay, what was the situation? Was it literally, no, there's two Hans. Okay. Third one. Fourth one. Where is the stags? You're telling me there's not one stag chasing these Hans around? Being like, yeah, this is my harem of big Hans. There's gotta be one over there. I need to start drinking coffee. To be honest, I need to stop drinking energy drinks and stuff. I can't really function well like on a consistent basis without caffeine of some kind. There's a stag. Not an impressive one, but a stag nonetheless. Like I can, like today I slept fine, so I just drank uh, some caffeinated Mio water, which I was like, yes, being healthy, drinking water and adding caffeine to it, but Give me one day where I stay up too late playing farming sim and gotta wake up early to stream or record or something and I'm, yeah. Caffeine is necessary. I want a hair of big Heinies. <laughs> or Heinz. I like Heinies better. That was way funnier. I'm afraid I'm gonna hit that, uh, Heinz ear. Heinz ward, you say? No, Heinz ear. We gotta cut energy drinks soon? I mean, I have to imagine the cost alone of drinking coffee has to be significantly cheaper than buying energy drinks consistently. I don't think like having the occasional like stop at the gas station, it's 5 a.m. and I'm about to drive to West Virginia to smoke some big males. I think that's fine. Just don't get slim chips. Don't do it. Why can't you crossplay in this game? You know, I think it's because it's a pretty small niche game and what I've heard about implementing crossplay is that it's rather difficult. Um, I just don't think that it has the player base. But then again, Second Extinction has done it, so maybe it'll happen. Who knows? Our caffeine intake is ungodly. Probably unnecessary, too. Diamond from Whitetail, 255. You can buy great coffee grounds for super cheap, comparatively. Honestly, we, we have just a great value, like Walmart brand, and it's pretty good. I can only imagine that's one of the cheapest possible options. Alright, I think, as much as I was hoping this would not be the case, we have uh, basically completed the task. We've checked everywhere I can think of, and there's no random great ones or diamonds hiding in places where I just haven't been checking. So what does that mean? Basically, the only thing I can figure is our luck has not been good. Now, there could be, you know, somewhere where there's maybe still a diamond and it's, and it's hiding in brush. I think along the river is a place. I'm going to run this side of the river next time. Usually they're on the other side. Um, most red deer drink on the south side of the river. So if you run the north side, you can look across and see them. Bit of a pain to go and claim them, though. So that's, that's probably my next step is to run through there and make sure I'm not missing any of the brush. I did spot one stag earlier today when I was doing that. It was well up into the trees. Now, I mean, the fact that I spotted him counts for something, right? That, that has to mean that I was 
at least somewhat capable of seeing them wherever they're at. Where did that call come from? I was looking through some of that brush there and I saw like the little, the thing you can see when there's an animal through the brush because of the fur quality thing they did, they gotta fix that. But yeah, that's probably the one right there. Right by the tent. Past the rock and around the bend. All right, what's the deal with this zone while we're here before we wrap up? What's up, Jake? I don't actually see any stags. That's kind of weird. No, I do. There's one in there. Okay. Don't know how I did that. One of the first people to get a white tail great one of the last to get a red deer great one. That's for sure, dude. And I mean, it's not like I didn't expect that. Um, oh, I shot a hind. There's a stag in there, isn't there? Yeah. I'm gonna definitely pretend that's what I saw. I think it was, but... Alright, minus the fact that we get to track that. Is that another one? That is. Appreciate you making the shots easy. Alright, back to the other one. Then we get to... Actually, it would make more sense to go claim these first. What is the map? This is Quattro Kalinas. You definitely don't have the same luck as during the White Tail Great One grind. Well, here's the thing. I think the the most um, obvious difference is in the rares, because the rate of diamonds, another stag over there, the rate of diamonds is pretty similar, surprisingly. About one every 200 is about what I was getting uh, for White Tail as well. That might have messed up. Might have been too far. That's fine. Um, but for the rares, the amount of rares is similar. Whitetail, I had two diamond rares, I think five gold rares and one silver or bronze. Red deer, I've had like nine silvers and one gold. Great one wants me to find it when multiplayer works for them. I just don't want multiplayer to work for them. I'm not looking forward to what's going to happen with that. Now, if I'm in a multiplayer game and I find a great one, uh, will I shoot it? Probably. But the amount of, like, hunting that server afterwards and trying to be absolutely certain that it's a legitimate spawn that would have to happen. Like, I think that's where I worry. And you know that there's going to be illegitimate ones posted in the community. That's just going to happen. I kind of wish they weren't going to fix them, but apparently that's supposed to be a part of this, so... I suppose it is what it is. It's an interesting way for that red deer to be lying. It almost looks different. I guess it's just in the shadows. It looked a little bit mellow. I wanted to believe, but it's uh, it's brown, so no such luck. All right, one to claim. That will be wrapped up. I'd sell my 50 bucks IRL. What a great one. I'm saying if I hop on your map, no, I'm sure you'll find it. Out of the two of us, as far as luck in hunting games goes these days, you'll definitely be the one to find it. But, uh, I'm just, yeah, I, uh, worry about how the game is going to look at that point. What's the deal here? It disappeared. So, we just run in a straight line and hope that... We run into the place where it's dead. No such luck. Ah, that's fine. I think, apparently, um, if you don't claim the animals, they respawn. I don't know. I try to claim them. Hope you get yours soon. Hopefully, man. Who are the people, like, I want to be able to get the great one that other people grind it for? Why don't they fix this? Yeah, I think it's, um, I actually think the biggest thing is, uh, like, let's say I want to hunt with Kyla and hunt together, and if I find the great one, like, come here, look at this. Like, I, I guess you want it to actually be a great one and, and not, like, a, a level 7 with a level 3 antlers, but I, I still think there's going to be a lot of illegitimate ones. We'll see what happens. Could you call your shame, Hall of Shame Hall of Small? I might. Hall of Small has a nice ring to it. I feel like I may have said that or something like it recently. Missed opportunity. Perhaps we'll start calling it that. Anyway. 
I smell coffee, so I think it's time. Um, like I said, the one thing that this has done, despite the fact that we got no diamonds or great ones today, is at least clear that back in my mind mental hurdle to get over where like I've been grinding my normal run thinking there's a there's a diamond or a great one out here somewhere and I'm just checking the wrong spots because we've gotten this long but I just think it's bad luck I'm pretty convinced it's bad luck we hit that many areas today and about everywhere I can think of that we're not checking so I think starting uh, tomorrow or whenever I can get a chance to grind them gonna be full steam ahead back on the normal run but anyway Really appreciate you guys hanging out. I know this was a lower kill count stream than normal, but got to talk football and call the wild and all things in between. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!